getting a divorce for a... Vultures. This is Sam. I am not here. Leave a message and I'll call you back. Hey, it's me again. Look, I don't want to fight. I'm going to come by and pick up Jack. Please have him ready. Also, the lawyer's going to call you in the morning. Okay. Bye. Vindicators of Earth. Where did you hear that? My sources tell me. Is that true? Yes, it is true. God, that what man is so beautiful. What would Jack say if Dad were to be a superhero? You are so would lucky. Would you out? Lucky I rarely even Jack, see him while I talk to him. The whole time I've been in L.A., the closest I've gotten to a celebrity is, is standing behind that guy from Friends at Pinkberry. <laughs> Meanwhile, you get to teach a movie star's son every day for the past year. Yeah, and in another two months, I'm going to need a new job unless they make me permanent. I don't what? know. Whatever. It's I Sam Austin. That man can read me a bedtime story any night of the week. <laughs> you are ridiculous. And I have to ask you, how are you and Jack adjusting? How are you doing? Um, it's been tough. Not only did I lose the love of my life, but I lost my best friend and Jack lost his mom. I'm just trying to stay focused on what's best for Jack. It's not easy for us. But I'm staying positive that the police are going to find Naomi's killer. And that Jack and I will be able to move on with our lives. I just feel bad for Jack. Um, tell me about working Can you imagine losing your mother like that? I imagine I could handle a loss like that if Sam Austin were my daddy. Right, <laughs> awful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You were just awful. Come on, Case. You can't tell me you've never thought about it. Sam comes to the school to pick up Jack, and you have to have a private conversation. So you're all alone in the classroom, and he's looking at you with those beautiful eyes, and you're looking at that mm, chiseled body, and then all of a sudden, bam, you're on the desk, crayons are flying, markers are flying, and he goes in wow. for your shirt, and... Stop. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. Girl, you have zero imagination. Like, zero. That's why you're single. All right, well, you know what? I think it's time for you to go, because I have to prep for tomorrow. Prep? They're eight years old, Casey. Yeah. Yeah. Temporary position. I have to make a good impression. The only temporary position you should be worried about is the one you're going to make on sale. Okay, yeah. goodbye. CJ. You're so boring, Casey. Good night. Bye, girl. Bye. Love you. Why do you do your own stunts in this movie? Uh, it was painful. Was it? Yeah. So one and action. Mr. Crawley the Explorer. He's alone in the world, but he's brave and he's What is she doing, Jack? Making a movie. Oh. What's it about? This bug. What happens? I can't tell you. Why not? Spoiler alert! Duh! Okay, well, carry on, Spielberg. Wait, where are you going, Mr. Crawley? 
Wait up! Wait! Mr. Crawley turned into an alien and now he's hunted for spiders! Ah! Hey, Jack. Crosswalk, please. We don't want to keep your dad waiting, do we? We're supposed to meet him for ice cream. Dad wants us to go get ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does, and he doesn't want us to be late, so come on. Let's get in. Here we go. Come on. Get in. Jack! Casey! <laughs> Did you forget something? Hi, I'm Casey Wright, one of Jack's teachers. Are you picking him up today? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sam got caught up, so he asked me to pick up the little guy here. Oh, we're going for ice cream. Ice cream? Oh, man, I wish someone was taking me for ice cream. Can Casey come, too? She's really nice. Uh, I don't... I don't think your dad would like that, but we have to go, so come on. Actually, uh, it, it says here his Aunt Meredith is picking him up. Yeah, well, you know how these things are. Sometimes they forget to update them. It's fine. All right, Jack, it's time to go. It's time to go. Come on. I, I, I understand. Uh, and I hate to slow you down, but rules and everything, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that's fine. I will I will show you the letter that I have, and... Oh, hey! Jack! Jack! Fine, thanks to you. This is Mark Haynes, Sam Austin's associate. Hey. And this is Detective Bruner. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. They'd like to talk to you for a bit. I'll be just outside if you need anything. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know where to start. There's really no way we could thank you enough for everything that you did today. I'm just glad Jack's okay. He's fine. He's on his way home with his Aunt Meredith. Good. Uh, as the headmistress said, this is Detective Bruner. He's been working the uh, stalking issues that Sam's been having for a while. He's going to ask you a few questions. You know, just general stuff. Okay? Okay. I thought I already... Casey, you gave the police a pretty detailed description of the woman. But I need different type of questions answered. We believe that the woman that tried to kidnap Jack could in fact be the same woman that's causing these stocking problems. You've been at the school for almost a full year now, is that right? You two keep going. I'll be right back. Okay, Casey, just a few more questions. Has Jack ever mentioned this woman before? We don't think this is the first time she tried to make contact. Casey. Casey. Oh, I, I'm sorry. What was the question? You don't think I love you, Jennifer? Of course I love you. Loving you is the only thing that I'm sure, and I dream about you every day. Your eyes, your smile. You're, You're everything to me. I love you. I love you. Ms. Wright? Uh, hi. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm I'm Jack's dad, Sam. <laughs> I know who you are. Hi. Sorry, I'm Casey. Late lunch. And I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted... Uh... God, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. It was not nothing. Jack is safe because of you. And I can't thank you enough. Oh, I, I'm just glad I could help. 
Jack is a really great kid. Yeah, yeah, he is. He he means the world to me, and I would do anything to keep him safe. Uh, which is why I wanted to come thank you, personally. You know, Jack really likes you, too. He's been raving about his favorite teacher, Casey, all year. I gotta say, you're, you're, you're not what I had in mind. What did you have in mind? Well, my third grade teacher was about 80 years older, and she, she had a mustache. <laughs> Let's just say you're a lot different than Mrs. Parker. Oh, um, well, thank you. Sam, sorry to interrupt. Can I talk to you real quick? Uh, excuse me a second. Sure. <laughs> Sam had to go deal with some things, but he wanted me to thank you again for everything that you did. Oh. Okay, uh... All right. I was three years into a dead-end job with 80,000 in student loans. I needed to regroup and rethink what I was doing. I took a calculated risk, and it paid off. And that's exactly why I wanted you to come to the podcast today, so we could sit here and discuss debt, student loans, bad credit, you name it. I'm here with Jacqueline from Unique Space, who's here. with detailed notes for billing. Miss Wright. Mr. Clark. Visiting your mother again, I see. I sure am. Well, I'm sure she appreciates your visits. While you're here, could I have a word with you for a moment? I, I was just leaving. It'll just take a second. It's over $14,000, and it's 60 days overdue. I have been dealing with her insurance companies and they assured me it would be paid on time. But it's already not been paid on time. That's gonna have consequences for your mother's care if you don't pay that bill. Obviously, my mother's care is my number one priority, as I'm sure it is yours. Yes, of course. In fact, this institution's number one concern above everything else is the excellent care that our patients receive. Wonderful. And that's why I am so concerned about the impact on your mother's health if she has to be forced to leave this facility due to lack of payment. Could be devastating in her fragile condition. But you know what? Why are we even talking about this? I am sure that you're going to be able to pay that bill in full within 30 days.
Thank you so much for meeting with me today. I just... I really want to explain what happened today at Jack's school. I overreacted. I know. I know I... I was just out of options. I needed to talk to you. And you won't return my calls or my texts. I needed to see you. I missed you so much. And I just, I knew if I could just pick up Jack, that he would just give me the chance to make things right. I know, I know, I know, I, I was wrong, I, you're, you're right. I would have, believe me, I would give anything to take it back. I would, I would, I'm so sorry. You do not need to apologize nothing, not for anything. I should have listened to you from the beginning. I... You're always right. Of course. I love you. Yes, I do. I... Lynette, honey, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I'm okay. Casey Ray? Can I help you? Got her. Hey, Casey, Casey we just want to ask you a Casey, question. over here. Casey, where are you going? Casey, Casey please, one Casey. second at a time. Please. What can you tell me about the kidnapper? Casey, She's standing Casey, did you get a good look at the kidnapper? Are you in Sam and Ida? Come on, Casey. Are you cashing in? Why did she target Jack? Is he helping your mom? Casey, do you know. think she killed Naomi? No, no, I think you do know. What, what can you tell me about the kidnapper? Guys, did Sam Lawson give you any money for help? Hey, guys, knock that crap off. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Hey, I said knock it off. I said back off now. Hey, man, we have a right to be here. Watch your head. Watch your head. You okay? Casey, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. Just doing my job. I didn't think they'd be on you this quickly. <laughs> Hollywood's a small town. But I'm not in Hollywood. Uh, you are now. Like it or not, after what you did for Sam and Jack, and then you flavor the month. How did they find me? Money talks. Just be glad it's only the paparazzi. How did you find me? Look, uh, part of my job for Sam is to ensure his and Jack's personal safety. So, that includes looking into new people in their lives. So you're stalking me? <laughs> no, no, come on. Casey, I'm here for Sam. He wanted to come talk to you himself, but... With everything that's happened, he didn't want to bring any more attention to you than necessary. Sam feels bad that your chat yesterday got cut short. And he wanted me to invite you over so you two can finish your conversation. But Sam was thinking that you could all have dinner together tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Unless you'd rather hang out with the paparazzi.
How are you? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Um, Jack, don't you have something you want to say to Casey? Oh, yeah. Thank you for helping me. Of course. I will help you anytime you ever need, all right? Should we show her inside, bud? Yeah. Come on. Over here's the dining room, and upstairs is my play area. Huh. Uh, I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but I gotta talk to Mark for a second. Do you mind excusing us? Oh, of course. Thank you. Mark. Casey, come check this out. Okay. Sam, look. This is not the time for a new romance. I don't... We don't know anything about this. Let me worry about that. Have you heard from Brenner? He said he might have a lead, but... But what? She's still out there. Two days ago was the first time she popped her head up in weeks. Before that, nothing. Not even a, a tweet. All right, Sammy, we are, we are trying to find her. You need to find her. It's been six months. I can't be worried about my career and my son, and if you can do your job or not. Come on. Look, look I've been trying. Try hard. Hey, I do everything you ask me. Hey, you want me to pick up the girl? I did. You want me to find the crazy bitch? Hey, That's what hey. I'm doing. Keep your voice down. I don't care what it takes. You and Bruner need to find her so she doesn't do anything else. Is that clear? Yeah. No one is taking my son away from me. No one. My mom used to read to me there when I was little. And that's the TV where we watch my movies. My mom said it had to be big so my movies look really real, you know? Uh-huh. This is the couch. We do not eat on it. Dad's rules. I will be sure to remember. Come on, you can see the kitchen next. They call this an island, which I think is funny because there's no water. They call it an island, bud, because it's out here in the middle, all alone, whether there's water or not. Say bye to Mark, Jack. Bye, Mark. Take care, buddy. You guys have fun. Bye. Casey, do you want some apple juice? I don't get to have soda, but you probably could since you're a guest. <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't you go wash up and I'll grab Casey a drink. Okay. Your home is really beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, it's a little big for just two of us, but what are you gonna do? Now we do have apple juice, but I was thinking something a little more grown up. Oh, yes, grape juice, isn't it? I think it is. Do you mind? You know, I'm sorry if Mark coming over earlier was a bit invasive. Well, actually, it worked out for the best that he was there. Mark's a bit rough around the edges, but he, he means well. We grew up together, so he's just being a bit protective. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, and I'm, I'm sorry about all the paparazzi stuff earlier. Oh, don't be him. It's not like you planned it. Yeah. I'm done, Dad. Can I go play? Finished. You're finished. Thanks. I don't think you quite got it. Hey, I think you're forgetting something. Thanks for coming over, Casey. Thank you, Jack. You were a lovely host. 30 minutes, then it's lights out. You got it? Yes, sir. I'm coming to check on you. Are we speeding? Sound speed. Alpha, take two. Marker. And action. I know you've came here to stop me, but you are too late. Not a chance, slime ball. No, don't hurt me. I'm just a villain taking over the world. Is there anything wrong with that? Yes, yes, there is. This is my territory. You better get out. Or else I will crush you. I will protect my world. You have a great kid. Yeah, and he's obviously on his best behavior because you're over here. <laughs> no, I know, I know. 
know I'm lucky. It's just, um, I worry about him. But everything's just happened to his mom. So sorry, Sam. Yeah, thank you. It's just... to talk to a child about murder. <laughs> anyway, that's um, that's why I left so abruptly the other day. I had to talk to the police. Do they have any suspects? So far, the woman who tried to take Jack is the prime suspect. And if you come here again trying to take my territory or kill any more of my family, you will suffer. Which is actually, um, something I want to talk to you about. I'm taking Jack out of school. Just temporarily. For his own safety. Till this whole thing gets resolved. Well, if it's a matter of his safety, you obviously have to do what is best. What is it? Jack's been through a lot this year. You know, keeping a certain level of consistency in an educational environment is really important at his age. That's actually what I wanted your help with. As you say, consistency is important. You are Jack's favorite teacher, and I want you to come aboard and homeschool him full-time for the rest of the year, or longer. I think that Jack would really benefit from having you around. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I think you guys have a great connection. And, um, I did some checking up on you, and I've heard nothing but good things, so, what do you say? To be honest, I was hoping the school was going to offer me a full-time position next fall. And quitting midway through the year would not send the best message. I understand, but, uh, if it's a, if it's a financial thing, I mean, you'll be well compensated. Especially considering how much time you'll need to be spending around me. I mean, in, in that case, you better be paying... A lot. I can't believe you showed up here. I am the Titan here. You will not take my territory. You have your own territory on your island where you are the Titan. You have peace and I have peace. In all seriousness, I'm sure you would be more than generous. I would just love some time to think about it. Yeah, of course. Just don't think too long. I want to make a decision very soon. And you're my first choice. Because I know you are the tie-in of that world, too. Hey, Jack, come say bye to Casey. Okay. All right, let's take five. Cut. Thank you, Sam. I'm really glad I came out. So am I. Good night, Casey. Good night. Let my driver take you home and make sure the paparazzi's gone. You have my number, so let me know soon about working with Jack, okay? Okay. I will. Good night. Good night. Sorry, uh, if it's too late. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was thinking about your offer, and if it's, you know, if we work out a few details, I, I think I would like to take it.
Oh my God, have you seen it? Seen what? Check out the link I just sent you. I'm on my way. Make me some coffee. Oh, no. Who authorized this? All PR is supposed to run through me. How did this get posted? No, we need to take this down immediately. It's fine. It's innocent, and she looks great. Now is not the time for this much press. But this is good press. Casey is great for my image. She's the girl next door. I mean, the studio's gonna love this. I don't care about your love life. I'm trying to make sure Lynette doesn't screw things up. Marky, relax. Pretty soon I'll be shooting Vindicators and that woman will be behind bars. Or dead. Sure. That makes our life even easier. Well, I really hope you're right about this. I don't want to have to clean up another mess of yours. And so I just decided, screw it. I called him back and I said yes. You know, that gives me the time to figure things out. Plus, Sam has been super sweet about everything. Wow. What? You are totally crushing on Sam Austin. What? No. What? No, I... Yes, I... I... Stop. <laughs> Stop. I... I just think a bird in hand is worth two in the bush in this case. What the hell does that even mean? It means the job with Sam is a sure thing, and... And the one with the school isn't, unless they offer me a full-time job, which with this kind of publicity doesn't seem too likely. <laughs> You do realize that this kind of publicity is exactly what you're going to get if you and Sam become an item. Fortunately, Sam isn't interested in me, so I don't have to worry about us becoming an item. But you're totally crushing. You're right. I'm totally crushing. I know. That's what I've been trying to tell you all morning. Oh, my God. It's him. What do I do? What do you mean, what do you do? You answer it. Wait, 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 wait. What? <sighs> Be cool. Yeah, yeah. Try. Hello. <laughs> hey, it's Sam. Look, there is a story about us. We have pictures from dinner last night. It's total nonsense, but I just wanted to warn you about it. Oh, that. Yeah, I saw that this morning. I'm really sorry. We're going to take care of everything. No, totally. I, I guess Hollywood's a small town. Yeah, it gets smaller every day. <laughs> um... What are you doing today? Actually, my friend TJ and I were just trying to figure that out. Go look out your front door. Go look at my front door. Uh, it was going to be a surprise for saying yes to the job, but I guess now it also acts as an apology. I booked you a day at a private spot. You can take your friend TJ if you want. Yeah, that is... Yes, say yes. So nice of you. But, uh, I totally, totally not necessary. Well... It's already taken care of, so I don't want to hear another word about it. Yeah, fine, okay. Say thank you, Sammy. We love you. Thank you, Sam. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Bye, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Bye. Bye. We love you. Bye.
massage was. Wow. Right? Now, this is the life we should be living. Hashtag Sunday Sunday. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. Casey, if you play your cards right, this could be your life. Please, this is Sam Austin we're talking about. May I remind you, his wife was Naomi Tills. I heard the way he was talking to you. some serious therapy. His dad's about to be a superhero, his mother was murdered, and he was almost kidnapped by a lunatic stalker who is still on the loose, mind you. Well, at least Jack's safe now, and Sam has tons of security. I'm sure they'll find her soon enough. Mm -hmm. Who knows what that woman is capable of. to go. Well, wait. Calm down. What happened? Stay there. I'm gonna send Mark over. We're gonna take care of everything. Hey. What do you think? These guys don't know anything, but I'm positive it was her. Let's find her. I'm sick of dealing with this. Don't worry. We'll find it before the cops do it. That way, then, she can't tell them what really happened. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. 
Anything in there? Nah, just some fingerprints. Nothing that they don't already have. Okay. What next? Well, a neighbor across the street got a license plate number. They don't know it yet, but I'm going to go follow up on that. <laughs> That's what I need to hear. All right. Don't worry about it. We got it. Hey. You doing okay? Detective Bruner is pretty certain this was the woman who tried to kidnap Jack. Great. What am I gonna do now? Oh, that's all taken care of. Grab what you need. I'm gonna take you to Sam's till this all blows over. You'll be safe. Uh, hey, Casey. I'm sorry. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Uh, Casey isn't able to talk right now. Mark, I'm, I'm sorry. This is my friend TJ. She was with me when this all happened. Yeah, Mark. Hey, no, I'm we... sorry. Uh, we really need to get going before the news gets. Hey, in. Mark. I'd like to talk to my friend for a minute, okay? Oh, sorry, could you just give us a minute, please? Please. Mm. I'll go get the car. Thanks. What is he talking about going to get the car? Sam wants me to come to his place. He thinks it'll be safer there. I don't know. I don't trust him. I heard him outside whispering with some detective out there something about not wanting the police to know things. I'm sure they just don't want the press to hear about this. Uh, TJ, they have a point. Staying at Sam's would be the safe choice. You know, until this all blows over, just come stay with me. I mean, look at this place. Look, what if she comes over and does this to your apartment? And how is she going to find me? How did she find me? I... I wouldn't be able to live with myself if something like this happened to you, too. I don't like this case. But you know I'm right. All right, fine. But as soon as this is over, you're coming and you're staying with me. I promise. And you're going to call me immediately if you need anything, okay? You're a good friend, TJ. I know. <laughs> Come on. Casey, I am so sorry. You don't deserve to be dragged into this after everything you've done. Are you okay? Yeah. You came back! It's your den. Come check out your room! Why don't you guys go inside? I'll be right behind you. Okay. Come on. Your room is pretty awesome. Come on, Casey! Okay, I'm coming. The guest bedroom is awesome. This is the guest room? You like it? I do. I... Wow. Uh, I told you. It's pretty good. Just make sure you make the bed just like this every morning. Hmm, more rules. I guess. Dad hates messy beds. No messy beds. Got it. Anything else? Um, dinner's at 6.30 and bedtime's at 8.30. For everyone? I don't know. You're a lot older, so Dad might let you stay up later than me. I think we'll let Casey choose her own bedtime, bud. Old people get to do all the good stuff. Uh, here's a tip, buddy. Never call a woman old. Go finish that in the table. Yes, sir. I saw you packed pretty light. Yeah, they're, uh... There wasn't much left to pack. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, look in the closet. I had a, a friend of mine at the studio who's in wardrobe pick out a bunch of stuff that I thought you'd look good in. And um, I had to estimate the sizes, but I think it'll be all right. I, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I want you to feel at home. I'll let you get settled. You can take a shower, get dressed, and dinner should be ready uh, when you're done. Sam, thank you.
next to you No one else around, just a space for two He's asleep, no finally I didn't think you were coming back. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna grab a coaster for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jack even told me about that. No, it's okay. Naomi could never remember either. Wow, I'm, so, I'm sorry I keep bringing her up. It's just... <sighs> No, no worries. I, I can't even imagine how difficult that must be for you both. I lost my dad when I was Jack's age. You did? Yeah, it was really hard for my mom and I, but having my mom be there and the strong person she is, it really made everything better. And, I don't know. Look at me, I think it turned out okay. <laughs> I think you did too. I know it feels like a huge part of you is missing and that that's never gonna get better. But you and Jack are gonna become closer because of this. And he's a great kid. And he's really lucky to have you as a dad. Thank you. That means a lot. And, uh, and your mom, she sounds like a, a pretty amazing woman. Yeah. Yeah, she is. What is it? Um, it's, it's nothing. I, yeah. <laughs> Casey, you can tell me. My mom had a, a stroke a while back, and she's having a really tough recovery. Oh, my God. Yeah, I just, I, I feel so helpless, and I don't know if she's going to be okay, and the bills are just piling up, and the worst part is I don't even know if she's, you know, going to wake up and remember who I am. I'm so sorry. Uh, is, is there anything I can do? Um, thank you. But, no, I just need to be strong and not give up. Then we won't give up. Because I'm going to be right by your side the whole way through. Thank you, Sam. That's really sweet. You look beautiful in that dress tonight. Thank you. I, I don't think I've worn a dress since prom. <laughs> it's late. Yeah, it is late. You should get some rest. I'll take these to the kitchen. And if you need anything at all tonight, you know where to find me. Thank you. Good night. Good night. There's no way to feel when I'm next to you. No one else around, just a space for two. to you.
had a bad dream and I can't sleep. Okay. I'm coming. All right. Well, how about I take you to your room and read you a story until you fall asleep? How does that sound? Good. Okay. is not gonna come down to me. Do you understand? I mean, what if I pay you for? Find her, put the gun in the car, then call the cops. Easy. Okay, great. Now take care of this evidence situation before it gets out of hand, all right? Look, I gotta go, just, just do what I'm telling you. You're up. I'm up. Good. Mm. So some uh, good news about your case. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they got some uh, fingerprints from your place. Her name is Lynette Maris, and they're looking for her now. Great. Uh, Bruner's pretty good at finding someone once he sets his mind on it. That's good. Yeah. So, look, uh, Sam wanted me to give you some instructions for today. I'm sorry, instructions? Yeah, uh, he wants you to get Jack up and dressed, uh, make sure he showers. And after you make him breakfast, you need to work with him, develop a lesson plan for your tutoring. But I'm a little confused. Look, Sammy prefers it, so make it out. Uh, where is Sam? Studio, meeting for Vindicators. Speaking of meetings, uh, I need to get going. I'll have some numbers on the island counter if you need anything. You know, actually... Uh, these meetings are very important for Sam. So it's probably best if you don't even bother him at all today. Call me if you need something. Don't call Sam. Good morning to you, too. Good morning, Casey. Good morning, Jack. Did you sleep all right after I checked you back in? Yeah. All right. The big question is, what are we going to eat for breakfast? I can have fruit or yogurt or the healthy cereal for breakfast. I think we should have pancakes. My mom used to make me pancakes, but Dad says I can only have them on special occasions. Oh, well, this is our first breakfast together. I think that's pretty special, isn't it? I guess so. All right, pancakes it is. And I could give you a couple books I think you might like, since you like to read. How does that sound? Would you read them with me if I need any help? Uh, yes. Good. I liked it when my mom would read with me. Jack, could you just give me a minute? This is Casey. She's awake? Now? Okay, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Jack? We're going on a little field trip. Field trip? Yes. Sometimes too. Swim. I just realized I don't have my car and I really need it. Where are we going? Somewhere really important, Jack. It's an emergency. I have to go see my mom. I have an idea. My dad keeps the key to his car here for the driver. Oh, but I can't. Jack, I, I shouldn't drive your dad's car. But it's an emergency. Now she has a lot of progress to make still, and it won't be easy on either of you. But she's awake. Yes. And she asked for me. Yes. 
a really good sign. That's it, ladies. It's official. Sam Austin is in love. We caught up with him outside of Cafe and Real earlier this afternoon and managed to get this out of him. Hey, hey, Sam. Sam, tell us about Casey. Uh, Casey's, Casey's wonderful. Are you serious? When did, when did she move in? Uh, no comments. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Miss Wright. First of all, I wanted to tell you how happy I was to hear that your mother took such a huge step towards her recovery today. Thank you. And I wanted to say personally how much I appreciate that you not only made your account current, but paying us in advance for next month. I'm glad we're going to be able to continue to help your mother. Thank you. I don't care what you have to do. I want them found now. I... Never mind. I just walked down. I'm going to call you back. Dad, guess where we went? Go to your room. Sam, you're never going to guess what just happened. Go to your room, Jack. Now. I can explain. You take my son and steal my car? I know this looks really bad. I, I was... Every time he leaves this house, he is at risk. What were you thinking taking Jack somewhere without telling me? Who the hell do you think you are? It was... Uh, Sam, it was my mother. She, she woke up and she asked for me. I don't care if your mother suddenly got up and started dancing. Nobody takes my son anywhere without my say-so. Do you understand me? We're going to finish this conversation later. I can't even look at you right now.
I thought you could use something strong. Mark just finished up talking to the police. Hey, thanks for your help with Jack. I didn't think he was going to get to sleep. She was so far gone. I mean... She said you promised you would marry her. She really believed you guys were in a relationship together. That's... Frightening. That's because she's crazy. I mean, think about what she did to your place. She's just someone who made up a fantasy in her head that had horrible, horrible consequences. Casey, I owe you an apology. What I said earlier about your mother, that was awful of me. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And it's not an excuse, but I just... I was just really scared for my son. He's all I have left in this world. He's the only thing that matters to me. Not my career, not money, not fame. Tim, I would never hurt Jack. Never. I know. And obviously, I want nothing more than for your mother to make a full recovery. Which is why I paid for her treatment. Thank you, but I can't accept that. And I will pay you back. No, there's no need. I want to do it. I can't. What's wrong? I should go. Why? I think I should stay with TJ for a little while. Just get away from all of this craziness. Let's get out of here. What? Yeah, first thing in the morning. Just the three of us. We'll get out of here. We'll go up to the mountains. I have a cabin. I've been going there since I was a little kid. We'll just go up there and forget about all this. Nothing but sunshine, mountains, peace and quiet. It sounds perfect. was my mom's before she passed away. She loved it here. Dad, can we go fishing? Uh, tomorrow we will go fishing. Today we're going to relax. Rest up. We'll meet you inside. Okay. Can I get your bag? Oh, I got it. I'm just going to call TJ back and I'll meet you inside. Okay. now considers the Naomi Till's murder investigation closed after it appears that obsessed fan Lynette Maris is the one who gunned her down six months ago. Based on new evidence, a revolver that was used to murder Naomi Till's was found in Lynette Maris's vehicle. The vehicle and weapon were found by Detective Bruner of the Los Angeles Police Department. We consider the inquiry into the matter of Naomi Till's death 
closed. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Find her, put the gun in the car, then call the cops. I don't trust him. I saw him uh, whispering with some detective out there something about not wanting the police to know things. your stuff away, bud. Fine. What's wrong? I... I... Hey, uh... come here. What is it? <sighs> they announced they closed Naomi's case. what I wanted to talk to you about. They're closing the case because they found a gun in Lynette's car. And the other morning, when I was waking up, I overheard Mark talking about a gun and this evidence situation. What? And and, and the strange thing is, is Lynette didn't use a gun when she broke into your house. Is that weird? I'm not sure that I get what you're saying. If, if she had a gun, wouldn't she have used a gun? I mean, she... She attacked us with a knife. What are you getting at? How much do you trust Mark? With my life. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. He's my best friend, Casey. Look, I, I appreciate the concern. I do. But... You gotta trust me, Mark had nothing to do with Naomi's death. Dad, I'm starving! Can we have a good time now? Yep. Come on. It smells good. And it is going to taste good. Is there anything I can help with? Uh, no, 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 there's nothing we can help with. You go in the other room, relax, and I'll bring us a drink. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Watching a movie of Mama did before. Um, may I see? If you want. More movies? Dinner's gonna be ready in ten. Okay. Oh, no. Gosh, tonight was so great, though. Cheers to you, darling. Hey, to us. To us. Oh, yeah. Hey. Jack, okay. With that camera. If you're gonna film us, come a little closer. Make sure you get us both in frame. Good. Look at him. You look beautiful in that dress tonight. Sam. Doesn't mommy look beautiful in that dress, Jack? You look beautiful in that dress tonight. Hey, Jack, come here a second. Yes, sir. Hold this. But this is a good press. Casey is great for my image. She's a girl next door. Studios can love this. I don't care what I can love them.
lied to again. I cannot take another one of your lies. Honey, I am not lying. Of course, I promise. We just... We can't go public until everything's taken care of. But are you sure this is the only way? I don't want... I don't want... That is the only way. After you do this, we get to be together. Do you love me? Yeah, of course. Then you need to do this. what she meant when she said she would kill for you. You had her kill Naomi. Yeah, Lynette really would have done anything for me. God, I'm gonna miss her. You know, Naomi bought him that tablet. She taught him how to take video in hopes that someday he'd become a filmmaker. It's ironic, isn't it? <sighs> she was always doing things like that without my permission. Even after she rode my coattails to stardom. So you killed her? What? Stay there, Jack. Stay back. I would have let her walk away, too. I mean, she, she would have been washed up without me anyway. I'm Sam Austin. Who the hell is she, right? But she just wouldn't go away quietly. Oh, she had to try to take Jack away from me. Do you have any idea how that would look? So you killed her? If you know anything about me, you know that I would never let anybody take Jack away from me. emergency at school? I'm one? Yes, okay. Your dad's not really feeling well right now. And I need you to call 911. Me? Yes. Tell them we need the police here, okay? When I go away, I need you to count to ten. I 
and you're gonna run as fast as you can. And you're gonna call. Don't leave me. It's gonna be okay, all right? I promise. a huge mistake if you just do what I tell you to do I promise we can put all of this behind us Gwinnett and your ex-wife but you don't like them you're special Casey and together we can be unstoppable what? Well, you gotta be my new wife you gotta be Jack's new mom you're sick I thought you were perfect but now I gotta get rid of you too. Dad, stop! So the LAPD just found Mark Haynes. He's been placed under arrest. Can you believe this guy? I was a huge Sam Austin fan. Hey. So glad you two are okay, hey Jack? Hey guys, Jack's Aunt Meredith is on her way to pick him up, so you're free to go if you'd like. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna stay. Yeah. Hey there, buddy. You did the right thing giving us a call like you did. You are quite a hero. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. Yeah. I need you over here for a second. Excuse me, guys. Okay. Okay. 